week on Impact. The phenomenal AJ Styles joins forces with D'Lo to meet the yeah. six foot eight inch monster Abyss and the six foot nine inch Dallas. And check out this three-man team headed towards the ring. First up, 21-year-old Amazing Red from Brooklyn, New York. Joined by, on the right-hand side of the screen, 22-year-old Chris Saban of Hill, Michigan. And on the left, 28-year-old Primetime of Atlanta, Georgia. Both Amazing Red and that man Chris Saban are former X Division champs, while Saban and Primetime are partners in Team NWA. One of the great aspects of the X Division is the opportunity to see international stars compete. Wrestlers from Mexico, the UK, Canada, and yes, Japan, both facing and joining wrestlers from the United States. This week, it's the former X Division title holder, there you see him, Kazarian, set to team with this man, one of the rising young stars from the Orient, Miyamoto, and their tag team partner, the Team Japan captain, Nosawa. Hello once again, everyone from ringside. Mike Tanay joined by Don West. And Don, what a memorable night it was this past Wednesday on pay-per-view, the two-year anniversary TNA show, and the TNA debut of Jeff Hardy, one of the most coveted free agents in the business, as he answered the open challenge of AJ Styles. We're wondering if TNA will be able to sign Jeff Hardy. Mike Tanay, I gotta ask you, you were there with me. Have you ever? Heard a roof come off like the asylum did when Jeff Hardy appeared in TNA. It was as loud as I've ever heard it. Incredible reaction at the asylum, no question about that. As we see the amazing Red and Kazarian. Don, we're also wondering what Vince Russo's decision is going to be. The NWA's director of authority. He's got to rule whether Ron the Truth Killings or Jeff Jarrett is the NWA World's Heavyweight Champion as Kazarian takes Red down with impact, heads to the corner and tags in his partner Nosawa. Think back to that matchup, Don, and the controversial finish Wednesday. It saw the Truth use Jarrett's guitar. He got the win. Senior official Rudy Charles, he never saw the guitar shot. He ruled the Truth as the new champ, but remember, Russo tried to prevent Jarrett from using the guitar by promising to disqualify him if it came into play. Russo never expected it would be the Truth who swung that acoustic equalizer. Well, let's face it, Mike, it's going to be a tough decision for Vince Russo because you can look at it two different ways. We know that. We'll see how they figure this thing out, but it's going to be a tough decision whether it was one of the two killings or Jeff Jarrett that did the interference. Well, we just mentioned the NWA's director of authority, Vince Russo, and I understand that Vince Russo, well, he has possession of the NWA World's Heavyweight title as we see Russo make his way down the hallway, headed towards the office of the Director of Authority. Word I get is that Russo is headed in for a conference with Dusty Rhodes. And by the way, Dusty, not the judge for impact this week. It's the living legend, Larry Zabisco. He's the man who will render a decision in the event of a time limit draw. Check out the Fox Box graphic at the top of the screen. You see the matchup as well as the time remaining in the match. Non-title bouts, a 10-minute time limit. Championship matchup set for 30 minutes. And like you said, Mike, if this match should go to 10 minutes, it will be up to the living legend, Larry Zabisco, to make the decision. Who wins this match? As you see Primetime and Miyamoto out there in the middle, probably two of the strongest guys in this match. Primetime goes for a quick pan. Primetime hit the belly-to-belly -belly suplex on Miyamoto, went to the cover, but only able to get a two count. Also want to reflect back on Wednesday night. Dusty Rhodes came out face-to-face -face with Vince Russo. Remember what he said, Don? He said, Vince, use your heart, not your mind. And sometimes the wrong decision is the right decision. Well, it's definitely a dilemma for Vince Russo. He's going to have to think of all the options. Amazing Red comes off the top rope and nails Miyamoto and he goes to the pivot and he doesn't get it. Just unbelievable to watch the stars of the X Division in action every week. And where do you see it? Only one place. Total nonstop action wrestling and impact on Fox Sports Net. And our Wednesday pay per views as Red springboards off the top and he crashed and burned. Came up way short. Outside of the camera angle, it was Kazarian who shook the top rope and that caused Red to fall. Oh, absolutely. And that's what happens when you go high risk. That's why we call it high risk. You go up there, Kazarian saw his opportunity. He happened to be on the same side of Red, shook the ropes. Red fell down. He's lucky he didn't get seriously hurt. Both Nosawa and Miyamoto hit corner clotheslines on Red. 
Now Red perched up above the top turnbuckle. What's this? Oh, the cell is on the shoulders of Miyamoto right here, and they've got Red exposed. And oh no, that is a long fall for Amazing Red. Wow, like a tower superplex. Pin attempt, and it's broken up by Primetime, who came in to make the save. Good move there by Primetime because of the distance that Amazing Red fell there on the mat. That could have been the end of it. Primetime stopped it, but Masawa not letting up for one minute, Mike. Sit out, driver. Pin attempt. I don't believe it. No, Sawa had the pin on Red right there. What's he thinking? He, he pulled him up at a two count. I think he was just trying to belittle their opponents right there and send a message to Chris Saban and Primetime and Amazing Red that they can win this match at any time that they want. And the former X Division champion, Kazarian, gets taken out by the former X Division champion, Amazing Red. Red snapped off the Hurricane Rana, made the tag in to Chris Saban. First he hit the clothesline, then the back elbow. Gonna take him up, over, Kazarian lands on his feet, Saban takes him up and... Oh! Him down. Hey, Matt, planted him. Plan Pin attempt, two, broken up at the last second by Miyamoto. I'll tell you what this X Division action is, what defines TNA, total non-stop action. And here on Impact every Friday, you get to see this kind of action. As you see Chris Saban going up, improvising in midair, getting the kick, and also the pull down on Kazarian. Combination move by Saban. Hit that DDT and Zaguri combination, and now charging into the corner. Saban able to elevate Nosawa up, crouched up on the top rope. Tag into prime time. Oh, he's Look gonna walk agility. the rope! You gotta be kidding me! I mean, that's just unbelievable. Chris Saban comes flying out of the ring. And let me tell you something, folks. They didn't land on a man. They landed on the hard concrete right in front of the announce table. Oh, Red came off the top. Kazarian took him down. Meanwhile, check this out. Back in the ring, the double team. Oh, Salad oh, Drop to hold. There it is. Seven, one, eight. The Brooklyn area code of Amazing Red. Who then hits the acai moonsault on Kazarian. Look out in the ring. There it is, prime time. He hit the play of the day on Nosawa. Here's the pin, here's the cover, here's the spin The amazing one, the amazing time, one, baby. Chris Saban and prime time. What an unbelievable finish there by prime time as you saw that unbelievable death-defying action by these X Division performers as it was unbelievable. The play of the day right here as you see prime time catching Nosawa perfect. The P.O.D. for the 1-2-3. That's exactly what it was. Prime time. He's the one that gets the pin. And it's the team of prime time. Chris Saban and Amazing Red who kick it off with a victory. What a way to start impact on Fox Sports Net.